Hi guys, Happy Droid Development here. Um, today I've got a quite an interesting uh, video for you guys. I've got a PSP 11 in for repair. Uh, this is one of my customers' uh, own radios that uh, was experiencing an audio from channel one. Now this problem can happen on any of the channels. Uh, so if you are experiencing no audio uh, from one of the channels, uh, I will show you how to fix it. And the problem is the the headphone port, which I'll show you in just a second. And I've managed to repair this one within a few minutes. So if you have this problem on your PSP 11 uh, or PSP 7, uses the same type of a jack as this. So if you're experiencing no no output on the speaker, but on the headphone port, uh, this this most likely is a problem. Uh, so this. Uh, PSP 11 uses these type of um, phono jacks. These are 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks. And when you push this in, you'll see this little bar at the back here move up. I don't know if you can make that. It's quite hard to do this one handed. You'll kind of see it move down. Now, what happens here is uh, sometimes corrosion happens because these are copper terminals. Uh, they're, they're quite cheap. Uh, jacks here so what happens with the copper terminals they become a little bit corroded underneath over time and uh, it doesn't make very good connection so when you unplug this it, there's no connection going back to the speakers so that's all this little bar is doing is when you plug a set of headphones into here it basically just terminates the 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 speaker so there's no audio going back to the speaker only to the headphones uh, so when the the user was plugging in headphones you could kind of wiggle it about and uh, the audio would kind of come back and forth uh, but as soon as I unplugged it there was nothing uh, so all I did to fix this was I cleaned out the, the the little connector here so what I did was I plugged something in and that raised up the the little bar and I just put used a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and uh, the, the connection was still a bit iffy so then what I did was I kept the the headphone port in and just right here on the end is where it makes connection to the little pin underneath. So all I did was just gently push it down and that kind of bent it a little bit further and that gave it a, a good contact. And I also did this with the the head, uh, the jack 2 uh, just to avoid that kind of happening again. So this has all been cleaned up and it is now working. So originally I did think that this uh, jack was loose because this these are kind of just surface mount headphone jacks and they're quite poor quality actually. Uh, but this is just to show you guys how, how to kind of fix that problem if it ever happens to you. Uh, I believe the PSP7 also uses this type of headphone port. Uh, so if you're getting the same kind of symptoms on your PSP7, that's probably what's causing it. Uh, the way you can test it is open it up, uh, have the audio playing and just use a little screwdriver and press down. If the order comes back, it is this uh, connection here. And all you have to do is just kind of plug something in here and give it a little press here, just to kind of bend that back. Don't go obviously too crazy with it because you will probably snap this off. Just a gentle, nice gentle press and that'll be enough to bend it a little bit further. You maybe have to do this in future as well, but uh, this, this one looks quite in good condition and I also cleaned it, so it should be good to go. So anyway guys, I'm going to get this back off to the customer and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.